now you can hear. Isin does this every morning now. It is adorable. I wish I could reach the camera to pivot it down slightly more so you can see how he's actually doing this, but yeah. He loves me. Also, the microphone's pretty far away at the moment. I had to do this when I could only use my right hand and not my entire right arm. I mean, how could I interrupt this? It's kitty cuddle time slash time for Isun to get all of the cat hair possible on my shirt. Like I said, he does this every morning now, and he is adorable. I have noise canceling disabled, so hopefully you can hear his purrs. I don't know if you can. Well, I might be able to reach with my right arm. Oh, I did interrupt him. That's, <clears throat> that's sad. I was hoping to have more cute. I can at least pivot down now, but I'm pretty sure he's going to walk away shortly. Oh, maybe not. He's sitting in my lap, except that I'm sitting weird, so... He's wrapping himself around my left arm now, which you can't see, of course. I also have really crappy lighting at the moment. It's, again, I wasn't planning on recording this, just he was being cute and I realized, oh, OBS is open. I bet I can record this just by using my trackball. Oh, I love you too, Isun. Okay, whoever says cats cannot show large amounts of affection have obviously never met my cats. Because this is well beyond what I see most dogs doing, even. Even if he is puncturing my right arm right now with his claws, ow. I really need to trim more of his claws, but he hasn't let me recently because he's this adorable. Ah, bad taste in my mouth. Still have medication, though. Yeah. I'm going to need to get myself some ice cream. Like I said, he does this every day now. And he will sit here for, I don't know, a couple of hours doing this. Or he'll curl up on my lap and fall asleep. That usually happens eventually, not immediately. I need to make sure phone is out because I have grocery, eh, grocery delivery happening in the next hour, which is probably when he'll get up. I was going to start recording some more Vandal Hearts today. I'm probably still going to do that, but I mean... Would you be able to start that when he's being this cute? I didn't think so. Oh, he knocked the microphone over. To be fair, that microphone tips really easily. The tripod that it's built with is terrible. Um, it's meant to be used with a microphone mount, but I don't have a microphone mount. And I don't intend to buy one because I don't want to buy a bunch of new things that I have to move to Norway. So, yep, just a video of some kitty cuddle time. Completely spontaneous. Otherwise, I'd have better lighting. I just need to turn on the light behind the camera but that's well beyond reaching range. So yeah, um, 
His paws are all on my left short leg, as in leg covered in shorts, not that the leg itself is short. Um, his paws, you can see, are on my left arm, and he's frequently curling his head up against my chest. It is so adorable. Both Isun and Zone do similar things. Zone does this primarily at night. Isun does this primarily in the morning. That's why Isun's out every morning. And Zone Kitty is with me every night. Well, Zone Kitty's with me every night because otherwise I can't sleep. But And if this doesn't lower my blood pressure, nothing will. Well, I guess this has turned into an Isin Kitty video, so I might as well continue. Um, Isin Kitty is 11 years old. Uh, he turned 11 at the start of this month. This is August 2021, for reference. Um, his birthday is actually the 1st of August, according to vet records and his adoption records. I adopted him in, I think it was... I met him in November, and I think think the adoption was finalized at the start of December. So I've had him for almost that entire time. Isun is incredibly intelligent, has been known to open doors, um, even door knobs, not just door handles, like most of my house have door handles. Uh, actually, everywhere in my house now has door handles, now that I'm thinking about it. I replaced the last door knob. Um, he used to be the most food motivated cat that I had, but with his age, he's started to not eat as much food. Now his appetite is very variant. Um, he eats two thirds of a cup of TT a day, but that's when he's actually hungry. Sometimes he will just eat one third of a cup of food. No reason. He's not particularly treat motivated, although he does like the rat, uh, freeze-dried rabbit bites that I have. Um, but he is catnip motivated. He doesn't really nip out, so to speak, like other cats do. He just gets the munchies. He is deathly afraid of kennels and will totally believe that I am trying to kill him. Um, same with... Uh, flea, tick, and heartworm medication, actually. Uh, the type of thing that you're supposed to put, like, a drop on the back of their neck type of thing. Um, that's the way I used to give my cats their anti-heartworm stuff until Isun started freaking out more and more and more as time went on until the last dose, he genuinely thought I was trying to kill him and started puffing up. No idea why. He didn't have any reaction to the medication that myself or my vet could find. And his brother started freaking out because he was freaking out. And this was before I had Boo Kitty. So, don't know. He has been outside of the house once. Um, that's when he and his brother figured out how to break out of the house. There's one screen in this house that if the cat taps it in the right spot, the screen will actually fall in. And when I came home from work, it soon greeted me right outside the front door. I don't think he got very far. He doesn't really show any interest in leaving the house, which is good. Because he's an indoor only kitty. There, I've made this an actual video and it's nearly 10 minutes long, including the silent part in the beginning. Hope you've enjoyed Isin Cuddle Time. Talk to you later, internet. Bye.